St. Michael's World Apostolate has events all the time, and I hardly encourage anyone who's in New York to go to these events. There's many blessings attached. This one is, it says July 30th and 31st, be there for your saint. And this is just another proof that you don't have to be uh, confirmed a saint by the Catholic Church for us to recognize saints, because there are saints every day dying. Just think of all the babies that are baptized and die. And I do the baptism of the aborted babies every day where I uh, say, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and just spray it in a circle. That is what Valentina Sidney Sear would like us to do. So I truly believe that those aborted babies are in heaven and they're fighting against abortion. They're saving other babies. So Anyway, there are saints made every day. I do believe Father Joe Moreno was a saint. We know that um, Christina Gallagher saw Fulton Sheen come from heaven. We also know that Princess Di, in a miraculous way, entered heaven, probably after some purgatory. Our Blessed Mother revealing that to Valentina Sidney Sear. We know even that there are married deacons in heaven because uh, John Leary revealed that to us. God is merciful. If we just come with a merciful, if we just come with a contrite heart and we stop judging everybody, having anger and unforgiveness, God really will forgive us. In this Latin Mass, Latin Mass, uh, and Novus Ordo Mass War really has got to end because it both are valid, which means that Christ is coming into the host in both. And he, his mercy and his compassion, humility are beyond our comprehension and our understanding. So if we come to either of those masses, wanting our Lord in a contrite and humble way and being reverent, do you think God won't hear our prayer? Now, there's this um, Maria Divine Mercy Seal of the Living God. And you can print this off up off the website. Oh my God, my loving Father, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Amen. I accept with love and gratitude your divine seal of protection. Your divinity encompasses my body and soul for eternity. I bow in humble thanksgiving and offer my deep love and loyalty to you, my beloved Father. I beg you to protect me and my loved ones with this special seal, and I pledge my life to your service forever and ever. I love you, dear Father. I console you in these times, dear Father. I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son in atonement for the sins of the world and for the salvation of all your children. There's more at the bottom here. You can feel free to read this. It's very consoling and very comforting that the Father is coming more directly to us rather than just Jesus and Mary. This is a wonderful time to live in, as crazy as it may seem. And we will see the second coming. If you want to read, John Leary has new prophecies up that talk about what's going to happen when they implement the chip mandate. And we're not supposed to take it because God is going to throw down a warning. And it's going to wipe out that chip mandate and all that fear so we have really nothing to fear just don't don't take it